I'm Mrs. Gasunis. Welcome to Virtual Family Reading Night. Um, I have chosen a book that is about a vampire. Uh, since we have Halloween coming up, I thought that would be kind of fun. So the book that I'm going to read today is called Asiago. And I'll give you like kind of a close-up look there. Asiago is a vampire. And um, a few things that you just would want to know about vampires before we start actually reading the book. So here at the front, oops, sorry about that. It says um, what you need to know about vampires. And you see that it's kind of on like a little tombstone there. So I'm going to share some of these things. Vampires turn into bats at night. Bats like to eat mosquitoes. Vampires are only scared of three things sun, garlic, and wooden stakes. A wooden stake would be kind of like a stick. Vampires can't see themselves in the mirror and vampires have funny accents. So um, this particular um, vampire, and I know this is pretty common, sometimes they pronounce their W's as V's. So like if the word is wood, he might say wood. And if the person's name is Wendy. He calls her Wendy. Um, so you'll kind of get a little bit of that as I read the story. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and project the pictures and read it so you can see the pictures as I'm reading. Enjoy. Okay, here we go. Asiago. Asiago lived in a castle with his great uncle, Gouda. I don't know if you realize Asiago is a kind of cheese and Gouda is a kind of cheese. Asiago liked to swing from a rope, play his accordion loudly, and turn into a bat when the sun went down. One very hot day, his friend Wendy called and asked, Asiago, would you like to come to the beach with Sam, Tom, and me? All you need is a swimsuit and a towel. Asiago had never been to the beach. He wasn't even sure what a beach was, but he was curious. I would love to, Wendy, he said. He dug up an old swimsuit and tried it on. Although he couldn't see himself in the mirror, he could admire his outfit. Great Uncle Gouda offered Asiago a ride. Asiago was excited to see his friends, Wendy, Tom, and Sam. Sam ran down to the water. Tom flew his kite. Wendy went to work on a sandcastle. Asiago, however, turned bright red in the sizzling sun. Did you forget to put on sunscreen? asked Wendy. Wendy, sun is the very worst thing for a vampire. Sunscreen or not, he answered. I sure wish I had my cape to protect me. Luckily, Asiago was very clever. He tied his beach towel around his neck to make a cape, and spent the morning under a big beach umbrella. When Wendy finished her sandcastle, she said, let's go to the boardwalk. What's a boardwalk? asked Asiago. You'll see, said Wendy. The boardwalk felt much nicer on his feet than the sand. Suddenly, Asiago cried, Oh, 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 I got a wooden splinter. Oh, no, Asiago, are you all right? asked Wendy. I don't know. A wooden stake can kill a grown up vampire. I'm sure a wooden splinter is the very worst thing for a young vampire. But Asiago was all right. To celebrate, Wendy brought him some baked clams. Asiago was so hungry, he ate one clam after another until he got a terrible stomach ache. 
Vendi, he asked. Was there garlic in those clams? I think so, Asiago. Why? You don't like garlic? They, they're delicious, but garlic is just about the worst thing for a young vampire. You know, Vendi, the beach just isn't the best place for me. I wish to just go home and rest. And so Asiago left with a sunburn, a splinter, and a stomach ache. When he got home, Asiago couldn't stop thinking about his not so great day at the beach. Wendy, Sam, and Tom tried to think of a way to cheer him up. They thought and thought and thought. Finally, Wendy came up with a great idea. What if we bring Asiago back to the beach at night? Quicker than you can say garlic, Asiago's friends went to his castle and invited, or I'm sorry, and visited him in his coffin. We're going to have a party at the beach tonight, Wendy said. Bring your accordion and we'll have a great time. What about the hot, bright sun, Asiago asked. The sun is setting, answered Tom. What about the splinters, Asiago asked. Just keep your shoes on, answered Sam. What about the garlic and the clams, asked Asiago. The snack hut's closed at night, so you won't even smell the garlic, Wendy answered. Okay, said Asiago, and he dragged along behind the others. Asiago looked up. The moon was shining brightly, but it wasn't hot like the sun. He took out his accordion and began to play loudly. I know it's kind of dark on the... Tom and Sam caught a strange creature and Wendy built an even bigger sandcastle than before. Then, all of a sudden, Asiago disappeared. It's like he vanished into thin air, said Wendy. He was just here a second ago, said Tom. Asiago, oh, oh, said Sam. Asiago! I'm right up here, Wendy, a soft voice squeaked. The three kids looked up and saw a small bat. It's Asiago, the kids yelled. He must have turned into a bat, just like the other vampires, Wendy said. Hmm, these little mosquitoes are the very best thing for a young vampire. Maybe the beach isn't so bad after all, Asiago said in his little bat voice. When he got home, Asiago told Great Uncle Gouda all about his wonderful night. Z end. Hope you enjoyed Asiago and the third grade word is that. T-H-A-T. Enjoy. Good luck.